Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video of my squad of play. And this is your review for the Chelsea game versus Vidi, where it ended 1 0. And ah, oh, what can I say? What a poor game to watch. If you were neutral and you watched that, I feel so sorry for you. Such a dead game, such a poor game to watch. Even as a Chelsea fan, finishing 0 0 at half time, not clinical, dead game, no proper good chances, not end to end. Vidi sitting back. But obviously, before I get straight into it, let's go with line quickly. Kepa in goal, very, very strong team, by the way. Uh, Emerson left back, mm, Zabacosta right back, Christensen, Cahill, uh, free midfield of Barkley, uh, sorry, Ruben off the cheek, Kovacic, Cesc Fabregas, Pedro, William, and Alvaro Morata. Hudson Doyle did not start, and I was very disappointed. He wasn't even on the bench, Ampadu was on the bench, but none of them really got to play, and I was really disappointed. Luckily, the bright light was Loftus Cheek. He had a fantastic first half. By far the best player on the pitch. He bossed the game. We should have had a penalty in the first half. The runs he was making, the pace, the power, the precision, the strength, the way he just like busted off plays. And he was fantastic. He's got a bright future at Chelsea. And I'm really happy for him. But everyone else was poor. Everyone else was terrible. Willian, diabolical. Morata missed an absolute golden sitter. Sitter, I'm talking sitter. He was two yards from the goal when he put it agonisingly wide. It was painful to watch. He's on his mini drought, it was painful to watch and it hurt. I mean, the guy had lost all his confidence. I feel so bad for him. Kovacic was good, but his shots were poor. Um, um, obviously, like I said, Loftus Cheek was our best player in the first half. Fabregas was really good, pinging them balls, dictating the play, really good back up squad there for his back off for Jorginho. Pedro was alright coming back from his injury, really good on the ball. Emerson was fantastic, going on these mad runs, crazy runs, pace, something Alonso doesn't have. His passing is really good, his defending was really good. Emerson's a really, really good backup. Uh, Zappacosta was poor, in my opinion. Christensen and Cahill were average, didn't really have much to do. Vidi had a couple of chances here and in the first half, but I thought that they were well covered. Kepa was really, really good as well. Again, didn't really have much to do. But Morata, he was poor. His touch, he was on the floor a lot. Um, he wasn't really performing, really, but the second half comes. And it's nil-nil. It's really poor. I was expecting a hammering. No disrespect. Hazard has to come on to, you know, give some urgency. He comes on the 50th minute. There's more urgency in the team. In the 70th minute, we finally break the deadlock. We finally get the breakthrough. A really nice teamwork goal. Fabregas lofts it into Willian. Willian then heads it behind him. Rata buries the top corner from really, really close range. Um, really, really good teamwork goal. And finally, he ended his mini goal drought. Hopefully, it should give him some confidence. All the players, it was a massive sigh of relief. He didn't really celebrate. He was like relieved. The players started tapping him, whispering in his ear. Massive sigh of relief for the players. Massive sigh of relief for the manager as well. Really, really good goal. Um, and yeah, Hazard was really good as he came on as well. And I think there's more urgency, more pace. Vidi had a really, really good chance right at the end. Kep had to make a really, really good save to deny them. Uh, Moses clearing at the end as well. Moses, Moses came on as well. As well as this, um, Hazard came on as well. Really, really poor performance. We were not clinical. One thing that was massive, missing, massively missing in our game was we were not clinical whatsoever. Not clinical. Morata missing a golden opportunity. Couple of opportunities. Uh, Barkley missing an opportunity. William missing some opportunity. Pedro, we are not clinical. And this is the massive thing we had this season. We have to address this either in the January transfer window or in the summertime. We have to address this. We cannot go into a new season. We can't expect to win things if you're not clinical. We struggled against a really, really poor Vidi side at home as well. Yes, it's another clean sheet. Kepa was really good. There were some positives. Loftus Sheik had a really, really bright game. Fantastic player. Really, really good player. I want to see him more often. Kepa was really good as well. But overall, we were, it was a poor performance. Not clinical whatsoever. Majority of players were underperforming. We weren't clinical whatsoever. Vidi were really good. They had a proper game plan. They came at us. Um, they had a really good chance. They didn't sit back as much. They, they could have. And they surprised me a lot, so fair play to video on that aspect. But we really should have been battering them. And we didn't, we just weren't clinical, simple as that. But yeah, we got the job done. Another clean sheet. We are now top of the Europa League group now. Six points, um, two goals scored, zero goals conceded. We continue on to Sunday against Southampton. So, you know, it's another win in the bag and that's good news. But yeah, that's the review. Uh, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Hit the notification bell so you can every time I upload. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Who do you think underperformed as well? Don't forget to um, check out my social media links as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.